there, welcome to the robot program. I'm Professor E. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can access the Blockly workspace using your mobile device. Easy Builder can be accessed on PC, but it can also be accessed on a tablet or a mobile device. I have an Android tablet here, and I've already downloaded Easy Builder from my app store. And if you want to see how to do that, you can check out one of our other episodes. So I'm going to load Easy Builder. I've already logged into my Easy Builder account, and now I need to load the project for my robot. So you can go into Public Easy Cloud Apps, and you can search for your robot type, or just click search to see everything. And there I can see my first result is for JD, which is the robot that I'm using. If you're using Rolly, AdventureBot, Six, you're going to scroll down until you find the project for your robot. So I'm going to click on JD, click download and install, and now it's going to download that JD project to my device, and I'll be able to find it in my installed robot apps. So it'll already be in there and I'll be able to access it next time. So now I see a grid with six different options. I can go back into my account. I can click connect to connect to the robot, remote control to control the robot. I have other controls, RoboScratch and Blockly. So this is how we're gonna access our Blockly programming interface. But first we're going to connect to the robot. So we'll start by turning our robot on and we're going to lay it face up. And now here it says connected Wi-Fi SSID. Instead of my Wi-Fi, I'm going to connect to my robot connection, which is EasyBV4JD1. In my case, you'll see a bunch of numbers and letters after it. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna click connect. All right, so we're connected to JD, and if you have a JD, you might need to load your server profile, and you can do that now. So click on your server profile or create a new one if you need to, and then click back. Okay, so now we can go into our Blockly workspace. Click on Blockly. And we see here that we have all the different options for programming any of the robot program episodes that use Blockly. All of our different programming block options are here in the gray menu. So we've got logic, our loops, our movement. And then we have on the left hand side our green start button to execute the code. A code button that lets you see the easy script that's been generated. Clear, which clears your workspace. Load allows you to upload a previously saved workspace. And save allows you to save the code that you've coded within this workspace. Let's go ahead and just add a block in and make sure everything's working. So I'm going to click movement, auto position weight, and let's have JD wave. All right, so to run our code in Blockly, we click the start button. And there we go, we've seen JD wave. You can see that while your program is running, you have access to the terminal window. In this case, we can see how our program executed line by line. So in line one, we ran our control command, auto position weight action for the wave. And then line two, we went into sleep mode because we asked for auto position to wait. So we wanted to see the entire action and then our code finished. So we can click the back button and go ahead and add more code. The robot program has lots of episodes that use Blockly. Check out some of our activities and have fun. <laughs>